Hello, this is Amy from iTradeAims.com, Aims Stress Free Trading. I am back, back, refreshed after a holiday, fantastic holiday. It was a lot of fun. And I want to start trading DAX on the M1 every morning, London Open, two hours max. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to stop myself at two o'clock, uh, uh, two hours into it. And actually, I'm going to stop myself if I get. Uh, if I hit my two-hour target or two, three, four hours, that's it. If it if it happens and it can happen in the first 15, 20 minutes, we're going to do that. So this is GER30. So that's the German 30. Obviously, they don't have the rights. This broker does not have the right uh, to write it at DAX. So they're just using the German 30. As everyone knows, DAX 30 is the German index for the top 30 biggest companies that they have and it's an index so the chart is a composite of the 30 companies and every company it's the way it's calculated is different we'll go into it some other time anyway so if you were starting at the frankfurt open it would be shown as nine o'clock this is a pepperstone broker so this is where it would be now if you were starting at seven and you were looking at the chart a little bit earlier you would have seen a situation like this so let me just scroll it there and so a few minutes before uh, the open, you would have seen this. Now, these people keep changing it. Sometimes I get the 24 hour feed. The other times I get only the eight hour stream. So this, this one is uh, not stream, sorry, uh, feed. So at this point, we have the 24 hours one. Otherwise, it would have started around here. So as we can see, this is this is where the spread would have been higher. Uh, but anyway, if you look at it, this is setup one, and setup one usually starts with an apple. So these dots here are my fruit signal set up to only show the apple. Now the apple signal, if you want to know, is in your check out your dashboard or the forum. You would see a specific uh, section dedicated to it, and there's a particular indicator for it as well, but you can also set it up in the fruit indicator. So apple are the fruit signals that happen between the alligator and the purple. That's where the filter is. More on this later. Right, so you, you look for the wave three. It's here, comes back, crosses the zero line. So that's your four. Now you're ready for a setup one. But before the setup one happens, you have an apple signal. This is a perfect apple signal. You have the, at least one green bar against the red bar. And then you would set your PO here, stop loss there. But that didn't happen, so you got a better option, a discounted one. So you'll put your pending order here, a pip below. So you only needed ah, about three points, or let's say 3.5 points risk. It got in, you will have your add-on signal here, and your stop loss will still be there. And a few minutes later, it just went down, created this what we call the doorway to heaven. This is a Scooby setup as well. More on this later. You can search in your dashboard or in the forum. What is a Scooby? Doesn't really matter. So you were in here, half your risk, in here, another half, and probably added one more here with stop loss above this box around here. And then at Frankfurt Open, it just went down. And if you were trailing the box, you would be stopped out here for a handsome 25 points at the risk of 3.5. I remember that. 25 is your profit. 3.5 was your cost. That is a staggering seven times return on your investment, however small it was. Let's say you had a 1% or a 2% risk. So if you had a 1% risk on this, what did you do? You just seven times it. So if your risk was 100, you made $700 in $10 more. This, this is amazing strategy. And if you had split it, which is a better opportunity, a better way of doing it. So I'll go for, let's say half a risk here and 1% here. That's how I do it. So for the apple, I would do half a risk. And then for the box, I'll do 1%. So that's my maximum 1.5%. And, so, and then another half would be here. And so if you were in it before the Frankfurt Open, I think you were done in, let's say, about 30 minutes. That's it, you're done. If you did not exit 
on the box. Then when it tried to break this box and was rejected and went up and enclosed here, you would definitely have exited. Or at least you would have exit, you would exit this add-on here and this one here and leave this one on and then on the box you would be out here. Now it's only in pips wise or points wise, it's just a few points, but it doesn't we're not we're not in it for the points per se. We're in it for the Rs, the multiples, the risk per se. So we want to risk one one R, one one unit, and gain multiple units here. That's what we're after. So when you're trading a higher time frame, let's say an hourly chart, your risk here would be 40 or 50 pips, but then you would make 250 and 30, the 300 pips. But in the grand scheme of things, and this is what you need to understand, we're after profit. We're not after pips. So there, there are people out there who are fooling you with pips. Oh, we made that many pips, that many thousands of pips. But you ask them what time frame. So if they made 10,000 pips in a year, and that was a daily time frame, they probably didn't make an, uh, enough percentage growth. So if we go in and say, oh, this year we made 500 pips, they'll be like, what, 500? But that 500 usually would have six to seven, uh, a 1% risk on six to seven pips. Now, if you calculate that, 500 pips is huge. So I feel like uh, just ending this video here. That That's all I would like to talk about. But let's just quickly go and let's suppose you started at London Open. So when you started London Open, there was no setup. But soon after, you created this wave three, and there's your first green dot here. Now you are ready for your setup one. Now, here we have uh, an Apple signal. But remember this. This is a rule that you can write down. Whenever you want to take an Apple, you want that Apple to be the highest point in that wave four. So if the wave three is down, wave four is up, then your apple should be the highest point of your wave four. So this was not the best. It was close to the gator. It was inside the box. We don't want that. So when apple appears, it's usually at the peak and there's no box. This should create a box. Now it did create a box, but it was already in this box. So this is not the one that we want. This, however, now, if you can see, is the highest spot. So you would go for it. Right? Although it's still within this range, but it's still like, let me draw this box. If you look at it, this is the wave four sideways action. So this is a sideways wave four. And this is a fake out. So you have price trying to break to the upside, but getting rejected. Immediately you go in with your half a risk and then you set up your 1% risk here. See what happens. Well, what happened is that it did not break. So you had a very small half a percent risk. Uh, and you traded it, you did not commit full 1.5% of your risk because it never triggered, but this was an excellent setup one, which started with Apple. If you don't trade Apple yet, you would have your pending order here on this red dot, red dot, sleeping gator, purple correct, wave correct, that's it, that will be your 1% risk here. Price went up, black dot, even up there, you cancel it. Or if you were enter, if you're in here, you had a small loss and that's it. You're done. You're waiting for the next setup, which did not happen. I hope you like it. I love this. This is the process. This is the process. I think in the next video, if I find a, a good hunt signal, I'm going to talk about that as well. So, see you later.